just like our homes, our gardens reflect our personal style. And I really get a kick out of seeing the odds and ends that people use in their gardens. Today, I'm gonna to give you a few more ideas. Rule number one, there are no rules. Serenity Nursery near Murray Bridge is an Aladdin's cave of such things. So I've dropped in to see Marion, who has spent decades sourcing popular pieces. So what do you think people are going for these days? I think wall art's really popular. They're um, buying all sorts of wall art and using it in their patios or out in the garden. Um, rust wall art is really popular too. Especially when you have fairly bland cream walls, they love to hang a wall art and there's so many different colours and styles. We've got a beautiful one with le green leaves all over it that just looks amazing on a sandstone wall. Mirrors can reflect and extend your garden. Make sure though that they are waterproof sealed or at least protected from the elements. And fire pits are pretty hot at the moment. Many of these made right here in South Australia. And what about these chairs made from recycled railway sleepers? Do you buy all your pieces in? Yeah, Crystal and I do a lot of the buying. Um, we'll go either interstate or overseas and see what we can find, something that takes our eye. If we get excited about it, we know it's going to sell. You know, we, we've been doing it for 20 years, so we just feel as if we've got the knack. We know what the people want these days. And not all pieces are bought. Sometimes we design and get them made locally. What like? Well, just for instance, like the pelicans that we needed because um, couldn't find them anywhere um, and they're popular because we're here on the river and people just love them. If I was to say to you, pick me up something for, say, a modern garden, what would you suggest? An atomic pot, like a really bright pot, and then maybe some wall art to match it. What about a farm garden? You know, a rural oh, garden. Oh, there's so much for the farm garden. We've got the sheep with the dogs that round up the sheep, chooks, and being in the country here, we sell a lot of stuff for farm gardens. I reckon yeah. you'd have something for a Zen garden. Yeah, we've got Buddhas and Zen water features that work really well in those gardens. Hey, you think you might have room in your garden for this big fella? It's all about the classical, symmetrical garden. Yeah, I still think the urns are really popular. Something nice on a pedestal, flowers flowing out of it, mm. and then a lovely lady statue standing in the garden. That's always popular for classic gardens. Half the fun, though, is finding things. So look around second-hand stores and homeware shops, and don't forget your local hardware store. They're always buying in bits and pieces, and you can also stock up on supplies. You know, things that you might need if you follow my five R's. And they are revamp, take something and give it a bit of a unique tweak, repaint, a coat of paint can make such a difference. Repurpose, take something and turn it into something completely different. Renew, save dollars by giving that old garden bench a sand off and a varnish. And rediscover. Stepping stones, old pots with dead plants, lost garden stakes, hidden statues. Who knows what you'll find when you have a look around. Now, for more inspiration and clever ideas, don't miss my feature in the June issue of SA Life magazine. I'll show you the ultimate in garden accoutrements from ancient times through to the Chelsea flower shows of today. There's some incredible stuff to see. So don't just think plants when you're planning or updating your garden. A few carefully selected pieces may be all you need to just pull it together. 